right, folks, what we got going on here is uh, running the pump for about 20 minutes at a low fuel setting in order to just build some heat in the pump and just make sure everything's going to function correctly. I just looked at the last video and it was pretty noisy. Couldn't really hear what was going on. So I figured I'd go ahead and uh, do another one without the machine running. So I had a little bit of concern. The, uh, the rack was kind of stiff. Had, had, I had concern. You know, these plungers are all aftermarket, uh, extremely high quality but aftermarket nonetheless and uh, so I wanted to give it a good uh, shakedown I'll call it and so I turned up the pump heater the uh, fluid heater and I got it up to I had it up over 100 degrees which is 30 37 and uh, let the pump run for pretty much an hour and everything everything feels really good this loosened up Nice loose rack, and you know, just I'm just going to have a little disclaimer here. I'm not a, I'm not a professional pump guy. I've never been to a single class on it. So if those of you that are watching this know more than I do, or you know somebody that does, uh, I apologize if I'm not doing something correct. But I've built quite a few pumps, and they do all right. So anyway, this one's going to be a, I think it's going to be an honest 1300. I mean, I haven't done any phasing. I haven't done. Phasing or balancing or anything. I figured I wanted to get the get the body of the pump nice and warm and everything and make sure Nothing's gonna stick and I ran it through several um, Phases of idle wide open idle wide open just kind of give it a good a good little test before I Start the phasing and balancing and assembling the governor and all that. So it looks like this is going to be a good one. So I'm really happy with how this turned out. The 1300, I'm really pleased with, even though, like, this is not balanced or anything. It, can, it might can go a little more, but I've done a 14 millimeter P8600 of my own, and that was 1300. So the math pretty much says 1300 is going to be whether it's a 14 millimeter or a uh, either 14 mil P7100 or 14 mil P86, the math is the same. It's basically the the volume of the fuel is going to be based on the the uh, height of the helix. So uh, anyway, and these are these are nice big uh, T T size injectors. We'll go ahead and uh, do all our work, all our balance and phasing with these in because they had the little uh, little drains for the for the phasing process. And then uh, once that's done, then we'll take the customer's injectors. And we'll put them in. Uh, we'll put them in these special holders that allow me to actually run the injectors that'll be on the truck, actually on the pump stand. Um, the only drawback is the injection lines will not be quite as big as these guys. So you you do all the testing and everything with these big boys here and the big T injectors, and then basically the customer injectors are just kind of a verification put them in there do a quick run and make sure they're gonna do what they need to so anyway i'm really 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 pleased with this whole thing see the it's the first time i've ever used my cutaway uh governor 
end cap. It's kind of cool because you can see that you can monitor the oil level all the time. Of course, if I had weights spinning around in that, it would go everywhere. But there's no weights, so it works good. It's just a... All right, well, that's it for now. And uh, I don't know what the next video will be, but I'll catch you later.